crappy people it's tracy reed here today coming at you with an unboxing of my brand new foodie hashtag foodie collection and i'm so excited to show you this video and this collection because i have been asked for so many years to do a food collection and I finally come through for y'all and it is better than I could have ever expected. Now, let me talk about it because I put off doing this collection for a long time because let me tell you, when you are trying to make a collection like this that encompasses so many things in a way that's going to be universal for people, it's daunting. It's daunting to know what to draw, what to put in a collection so that it's going to be like imminently usable for everyone. And so this collection is super versatile. Um, it doesn't emphasize any sort of cuisine, any sort of type of cooking or even cooking at all. If you are the takeout queen, this collection is going to be for you too. So let's talk about it. It comes with 20 patterns in 12 by 12 traveler's notebook and pattern card size the pattern cards come in both three by fours and four by sixes and include all 20 patterns it also has 11 solid papers that come in the 12 by 12 and traveler's notebook size papers it has a set of 12 traveler's notebook um I call them Traveler's Notebook Signatures, which are like basically journaling cards that are Traveler's Notebook size. It also comes with two sets of journal cards that have eight three by fours and two four by sixes each. And it comes with not one, not two, not three, but four sheets, eight and a half by 11 sheets of stickers. Uh, normally in my standard collections, it comes with three sheets of stickers, but there are so many illustrations in this collection, you guys. I just had to throw in an extra sheet for the same price as my normal standard stickers. Uh, so you get four sheets for the price of three. So it's a super duper good value. There's also a digital kit with digital embellishments and we will go over that towards the end of the video, but let's start with the unboxing of the printables first. So again, the collection comes with 20 patterns that come in 12 by 12 and patterned card and, um, Traveler's Notebook size, which is 4.25 by 8.25. So you can see that these are the same patterns scaled to different sizes. There are also three by four cards in the pattern cards, but I only print out the four by sixes because you can cut a four by six in half and you'll have two three by four cards. So I just choose to print out the four by sixes, but you get both. Both the Traveler's Notebook papers and the pattern cards come on printable PDF sheets. So if you do not have a photo editor, a photo editing program, you can just straight up print the PDF sheets either at home or via a um, somewhere like an Office Depot. There is a link in the uh, description box below that talks about printing via like both at home and via Office Depot with places or with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. So on the three by four, or no, not the three by four, the patterned cards, whether it's three by four or four by six cards, um, if there is something with a specific orientation, it comes in both horizontal and vertical on the printable sheets. All of the pattern cards come in both vertical and horizontal individual files, but on the printable sheets. If it comes in a specific orientation, it has both horizontal and vertical. So you can see for an example, this pattern on the printable sheets comes both ways so that you have it both ways, depending on what you want. Now let's talk about the traveler's notebook size papers. Let's look at all of these patterns. Again, traveler's notebook size, pattern cards, or 12 by 12, your option. This, um, color palette is so perfect for cooking. So many times I feel like the color palettes for collections that have to do with food are either super neutral or super retro. And this color palette is the color of, wait for it, food. 
food. So it is super bright. It is vibrant. It is reds and orange and yellows, greens and purples with some neutral blacks and browns as well. Such a pretty color palette. There are 20 patterns and 11 solids. So here are the patterns. So we have a tonal red um, scallop. Little tiny floral, reminds me sort of a, of a tablecloth floral. Again, with the picnic-y tablecloth vibe. One of my favorite patterns here. You can see some of the illustrations in this collection. Another floral. So you can see that there's sort of a retro -y vintage vibe with this collection, but uh, more like along the lines of like vintage Pyrex kind of a vibe. Love this plaid. I could not resist making a pattern out of these salt and pepper shakers. So cute. This is the most retro vintage looking pattern in the collection. Love it. The stripe to pull all those colors together. We have this really nice um, sort of avocado green with a tonal plaid. I love these arrows. You know, I couldn't resist a rainbow. Green dots. I love this deep green as well. Silverware. I know purple is like the forbidden color, but it works so well in this collection. You're really going to love it. This floral, you guys. How beautiful is that? Wood grain, of course. More of the illustrations in this collection. Love how the black sets those colors off. Of course, another polka dot to bring all those colors together. I love this wordy paper. It's got lots of different words on it. Brunch, family, secret family recipe. Yummy, nom nom nom, delish. And then lastly, we have some wheat stalks for all of my bakers out there on brown. Some really great patterns in this collection. So super versatile and usable. I love them. While we're talking about Traveler's Notebook size things, let's look at the Traveler's Notebook signatures. So I like my Traveler's Notebook signatures to be a mix of word art and um, alternate patterns and journaling. So this says, people who love to eat are the best kind of people, which is a Julia Child quote. Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? Love the vintage retro -y vibe of that too with that old song. Notes from a foodie. Who knew that the hardest part of being an adult would be deciding what's for dinner every single night for the rest of your life. This is like, speaks to my soul, you guys. <laughs> this is sort of a meal plan sheet. So it's got Monday through Sunday on it. You can either leave it as it is or cut it up and use it as labels. Those salt and pepper shakers again, but this is on a multicolored salt and pepper shakers and it says seasoned with love. Some journaling area down here. Top 10 faves, so you can do your top 10 fave foods, fave recipes, fave restaurants. I left it really open for interpretation here. Nothing brings people together like food, or like good food. <laughs> Although I suppose bad food would bring people together too because you could all commiserate. A journaling area, so you could like add recipe up here or some sort of title with your journaling in the box. An alternate for that wordy paper on brown. I felt like there wasn't quite enough brown in the original collection, so I wanted to add just a little bit more in case you decided to embrace those browns so you had some more options. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> it's me, you guys. It's me in a card. It's me. <laughs> oh, and lastly, look at how cool this floral looks on this dark green. I could not decide if I wanted the dark green or the white in the original collection so I just threw the dark green in the Traveler's Notebook signatures and I love it. I love 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 it. I'm so excited. So let's talk about the journaling cards. There are two sets of journaling cards. Each set of journaling cards comes with 
eight three by fours, two four by sixes. So let's start with the four by sixes. Meals and memories made here. So you know I love some good snark. So we're gonna get into the snarky side of this collection with these stickers and the journaling cards. So there's a great like mix of like just standard good food, good mood, um, you know, gather around the table sort of sentiments. But then there's also snark, which I really love. You had me at let's eat. <laughs> Y'all, the weight of my heart is food. Like there's, it's not secret. It is not like some hard thing to do. Like if you love me, feed me. <laughs> Guest check. So you can uh, write about a restaurant. The kitchen is the heart of the home. Nom, nom, nom. Five stars, would eat here again. Life is short, eat dessert, for real. I love this plate here. You can journal inside of it, or you could put, you know, you could decorate, whatever. But I thought about it for journaling. I'm sorry for what I said when I was hangry. Does anybody else get hangry? I get hangry, and I am not nice when I'm hangry. Just ask my husband. And then on the menu with some journaling lines. This is card set one, I believe. Card set two. What do we have here? Oh, we've got some pattern cards in here mixed in. Okay, so here are the four by sixes for card set two. Grab yourself a plate. So this is like a fiesta wear vibe. Then of course I had to include a recipe card. I love the little... Um, illustrations on this one. So then we've got good food, good mood. If I didn't have to prep it, cook it, or clean up after it, it's the best thing I've ever tasted. Fork it. Let's have takeout. I'm just here for the food. This was delicious. Love at first bite. Food, friends, family, gather around the table. And then a journaling card with those cute little salt and pepper shakers. So those are both, both sets of journaling cards. I'm gonna pause the video here and lay out all of these stickers because I'm serious, you guys, there are four sheets and it is flipping ridiculous and we will be here all day if I lay them out on camera. <laughs> okay, guys, I tried to make this make as much sense as possible, but you can see it is, it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff, but I don't think anyone's gonna be complaining about an extra sheet of stickers. So uh, we've got food, all the foods. We've got utensils and takeout containers and pans and cutting boards and uh, blenders and florals. And uh, some, for some reason I put word stuff over here too in the corner and uh, whatever. So we've got some titles, local fave, food enthusiasts. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, okay. You guys, I'm like, wait, we're missing things. Ugh. You guys, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw the preview up here because this is just too much to look at. So we're going to throw the preview up instead. And then we'll, we'll talk about the digital kit. All right. So this is a little bit easier to look at. Some of it's a little upside down, but We'll deal. So you can see there are four sheets of stickers. There's 137 stickers in total, which to give you a little bit of reference, I try to aim for around 75 to 100 stickers in general for my collections. So 137 is a lot. So <laughs> we've got titles, Get In My Belly, Foodie, Good Eats, Foodstagram, Oh My, Kiss a Cook, Food Enthusiast, Local Fave. There's a ton of word bits, a lot of snark and fun like up there in the top with the bowls. It says the dishes are looking at me dirty again. Uh, WTF, where's the food? Takeout is my favorite recipe. And then we have some more of your standard fare as well. Like this was absolutely delicious. Craving this, food coma, live, love, nosh. Lots of word bits for you to scrapbook your food stories. And then if you look at the bottom half of the preview, there is a ton of food illustrations. And uh, I wanted to point out that there's a meat in this collection, which uh, I apologize if you are vegetarian or vegan, but one thing that I've noticed with food collections is it either focuses on things that are like takeout fare. So 
uh, pizza, hamburgers, that kind of a thing. Or it focuses on farmer's markets and vegetables and um, fruits, which all are great. I eat all the things all the time, so I'm happy with all of that. But I notice that in a lot of collections, there are not meat products. And so we've got steak, we've got pork chops, we've got salmon, we've got prawns, we've got... Um, sausage and bacon and chicken legs and then there are of course your fruits and vegetables as well plus there's olive oil wine there are utensils chef's hats flowers there's even avocado toast there's stacked bowls uh there are takeout containers and of course there are florals there's even a little check over there on the right hand side like a a restaurant checkbook so super fun tons of embellishments in this collection let's take a look at the digital kit so one thing I get asked all of the time what is the difference between the digital kit and the rest of the product are the stickers on the cards and it everything else included in the digital kit and the answer is no the stickers and the cards the traveler's notebook papers the pattern cards the traveler's notebook signatures they are all separate products meant to mix mix and match for whatever your preference is for scrapbooking so the digital kit is intended to cater to digital scrapbookers who prefer their embellishments to be faux wood veneer faux realistic products because when you are scrapbooking digitally of course you're not going to get puffy stickers you're not going to get actual wood veneer that kind of thing so the point of the digital embellishments is to replicate that sort of product for digital scrapbookers everything in this collection is still fully printable it includes the 12 by 12 papers it includes a digital alphabet and it includes all of the illustrations as well as things that are not included in the sticker set um, for digital scrapbookers in a way that is um, not just a straight sticker so in this collection we have wood veneer we have chipboard we have clear stickers uh, we have um, epoxy things we have and then of course we have ribbons and bows and tags and frames and flowers and things that are included in your standard digital kits for digital scrapbookers. You can still print anything in this kit but it does not come on printable sheets. That is the difference between the digital kit and the printable products. You can create your own sheets and print whatever you want. You can drag and drop the embellishments into your silhouette and have your silhouette um, cut it out. All of that still works, but this is not catered to paper scrapbookers as much as it is digital scrapbookers. So that is the foodie digital kit. This is the full foodie digital or foodie printable collection and digital collection. And that is it for this unboxing. If you enjoyed this video and want to pick up the foodie collection, it is available in my store at tracyreed.com. There is a link in the description box below that will take you right to it. All right. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at tracymreed. I would love to see you over there as well. And I will see you next time. All right. Thank you.